are sterling and turquoise at the Goodwill Benz. Wow. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. In this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items that you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. In my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, I posted this, share your best July bolo. And I invited everybody in the group to share a bolo item, something they flipped for a profit. So in this video, you are gonna have your socks knocked off. So let me know where they landed. Um, I've asked you guys that before and I get some really clever, funny responses. So everybody go check out the comments to see where everyone's socks landed. And let's get started here with the first big money bolo. This one comes from Stellar Seller Sam. This is her YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. She has joined Bolo Buddies memberships for perks at level two. And if you guys are interested in learning more about that, there is a link down below. But basically you get a mention in the video, a pop-up of your eBay store or your YouTube channel and a link in the description. So let's see what she sold. This is a pair of Oakleys. We're in a mystery tote of toys I grabbed from the Goodwill for $10. In a tote of toys? All right. As my kids were going through the toys, I saw the sunglasses and tossed them into the trash pile. Right before I dumped the pile into the garbage, I noticed the O on the rims. After much research, I realized they are real, but very bad condition. I started an auction at $19, figured someone could take out the lenses and use the rims. I didn't expect it to go for $78. Wow, lesson learned. Oakley Sutro Light Sunglasses. Yeah, you can pop out those lenses and you can repair them. Put something else in there. Put some new lenses in. Bought these 1994 original Jurassic Park dinosaurs made by Kenner on Thursday from a local garage sale for $200 along with a bunch of other Jurassic Park dinos, Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers, Zords, T-Rex sold on Mercari for $150, and the Demon Black Red Dino, Dino sold privately for $250 in a Facebook group, already doubled my money and have a ton more to go. Wow. So if you know what you're looking for with vintage toys, dinosaurs, oh my goodness, some of them are big bucks. So check that out. And how many of you sell privately in Facebook groups and how does that go for you? I've never done that. So just kind of curious. Nora Fleming Mini. This, this sea turtle is from my personal collection, which I purchased years ago. I probably paid about 20. It is now retired and I sold it in two days, listed for 225 and took a best offer of 200. And this is what it looks like. It's so cute. I love turtles. And here is another one that she sold. Same situation. It was her from hers from her personal collection. It is a rare Nora Fleming Bluebird of Happiness. There it is. And it's signed in F. I participated in an online estate sale a few months ago and was looking at what they had up for auction. And then I came across the item and saw that no one had bid on it yet. So I took screenshots and researched it and saw that somebody had paid $285 for a similar item to what I was interested in. When I saw that, my jaw dropped and I immediately put my bid in, got into a small bidding war until I won it at $18. And I didn't realize just how big this item was until I picked it up at the pickup site. And I thought it was going to take months before it would finally sell. But to my amazement, after a few months, I got an offer for $225 and I took it. The buyer paid quickly, $225 plus shipping, and I packed and shipped it immediately. Best sale ever since starting my journey. That's awesome. It says, a state early 18th century German Westerwald tankard 12 inch cobalt blue and that's what it looks like i don't know if it's a vase or what it is i love this next one paid less than five dollars listed for 199.99 best offer accepted of 165 in two days troll giraffes are a big bolo yes for sure yes yes and it is unmarked 12 inch from 1964. It's a little draft troll mini pony. 
<laughs> yeah, they're a bolo. All right, the next one, Mug Life Bolo, it says. Paid $1.99 at Savers, and I sold in less than an hour of posting on Poshmark for $150. This is a Mark Marone WTF podcast mug made by Brian Jones. Marone is a comedian. The unique design and color of this art pottery mug is what caught my attention. Wow. How many would have walked right past that one? I definitely would have. Picked this up. Several baggies at an estate sale in February of vintage barrettes. Just got around to listing them. Paid $3 for 25 barrettes and sold two lots already with three more lots listed with watchers. All right, so these are, let's see. The first set says vintage DC hair barrettes lot, France. And sold those for 14. Vintage goodie, stay tight barrettes, two and a half inch clasp. Now, I know I have sold the three inch turtle, it's tortoise, faux tortoise shell look. And those are big money. The three inchers, the stay tight. Yes, look for those big bucks. I think I've sold like three or four of them in a lot for, I can't remember if it was 70 or $80. It was something crazy. Now these are a different shape. So definitely look up comps on the goodie, especially if they have the tortoise, faux tortoise look to them big money bolo. So she sold those for 22 plus shipping. She said, and another that sold this morning, full price plus shipping, vintage hair barrette clip lot five, tortoise shell made in France. Now, I believe these are faux tortoise shell. So I would use the word faux, but these are two and a half inches as well. And these sold for $14.95. Found at the STL bins, all wrapped up together in a trash bag at the bottom of a Gaylord. This particular location is known for putting raw donations out, paid by weight, $2.50. Wow, wow, wow. Lot of 13 vintage bolo ties includes sterling, turquoise, Bennett, some for repair, $205.50. I would have parted those out. Some of them are sterling and turquoise at the Goodwill bins. wow. Raw donations. You got to love that. Okay, let's see. This guy sold for 70 plus seven in shipping. I purchased him for around $5 at a Goodwill. I didn't find any sold comps, so I just listed for 70. He sold six weeks later for full asking price. He does have a small crack in the gold rim around the clock mentioned in the description. Courtney always says, we can list broken items, so I did. That is true. You can list and sell broken items. And you can sell them as a big money bolo, just like this, $70. That is awesome. It's an English Springer Spaniel Dog Nobleman Bus Desktop Mantle Quartz Clock, and it works. And I will say that people like to collect things that look like or remind them of their dogs. So if you find animals... A lot of times they are collectible. Got this 1976 Robin at the indoor yard sale for $4. I had it at 215 CAD and took an offer of 175 CAD plus 35 CAD shipping. I don't know what that equates to for um, our currency. Robin Megacorp 1976 action figure comes with box. It has some damage and this is what it looks like. Sorry, it was really small. I bought this Magnolite aluminum turkey roaster for $5 at a garage sale. I went home and looked it up on eBay. It was selling anywhere from $75 to $200. I decided to price somewhere in the middle. I priced at $129 and sold on Mercari within five hours. I moved up to the second tier membership. So she is now a Bolo Buddies member at level two. And she is Eat, Pray, Thrift. And this is her actually... This is her eBay store, but this sold on Mercari. And yeah, those roasters, whoo, and Magnolite. You know who sells a lot of those is Terry Mindful Recycle. If you have not checked her out on YouTube, oh my goodness, big money bolo finder, go sub her up. Wow, she's got crazy bolos. All right, I actually got this off Facebook Marketplace with 80 other plush. I got them all for free. I had to take them all. 
The ones not worth selling I just donated to a local places around me. This is one of the rarer ones I did find. I have a couple other plushies worth more. Just haven't sold yet. So if anything, I want people to take from this sale is do your research. None of these sold on eBay or have been listed on eBay. Last one sold was on Poshmark for $30. I knew with the condition and rarity I could get 50 plus shipping. Like all the Bolo buddies will tell you, list high, then come down in price. This took a month to sell for full asking price. It is a vintage 1995 Disney Store Pocahontas plush, 16 inches, new without tags. So here is what I would recommend. If you have an item and there are none listed in the past 90 days on eBay, I would auction it. That's what I would do personally. And I would start it at what I was going to ask for it. So in this situation, he started it at $49.99. So that is what I would start my auction at. But I also would look at Terapeak, which is free. Um, it comes with your eBay store. But if it's not on Terapeak, you can also purchase a subscription to WorthPoint, which I absolutely love, but it's not for everyone. It is pricey, but if you're selling harder to find items, you're going to make more money because you're going to have that knowledge. So I do have videos on WorthPoint. Type in Bolo Buddies WorthPoint and you can check those out. I like to explain why I use things. All right, here we go. Piece of Scrap. She is a Bolo Buddies member as well. Awesome, awesome channel. Uh, paid $5 at the Goodwill, declined several half price offers, and it just sold on eBay for 119 shipped, my full asking price. It's a Funko Pop NFL Patriots Tom Brady retired and 110.04. That is awesome. This one comes from Bolo Buddies members, Nina's Jewels, and they also have an awesome YouTube channel where you will definitely learn about a lot of different items. They sell a large variety of um, unique and harder to find vintage to now items. We found this vintage counterweight powder scale at a church rummage sale along with a bunch of other photography and dark room items. Ooh. We bought all the vintage photography and dark room items for $50. Our cost on this scale worked out to be $1. It sold in a day for full asking price of $129.99. We've already sold other items from that purchase too and made our money back. It's a vintage Lyman House M5 precision loading scale with magnetic dampling or damping action. Whatever that means. That's what it looks like. Bolo right there. Bought this cutie at the bins for two or I'm sorry, $3.25, which is $1.47 a pound. Sold her for a best offer of $42. She had pink makeup or marker spots on her neck that would not come off. Still made a good profit. She is a Hair Art Mia 16 inch 100% human hair mannequin head. And I actually have one that I pulled out of the Goodwill bins that is a man with a beard. And I thought about keeping him to do like my vintage hats on, but I think I'm going to sell him. I don't know. I just, I never seem to use it. I've used it like once, I think. But anyway, he may be coming to my uh, eBay store. <laughs> this one comes from Bolo Buddies member Crazy Critters and Vintage Collectibles. And she's on Facebook, YouTube, and here on uh, eBay. She says, hi, Courtney. I found this Linux cat compote butterfly meadows by Lewis Lee Lair at Goodwill for $2.99 and sold it for $54. I knew some Linux items sell for a decent price, so I listed it right away and it didn't take long at all. I haven't had really big bolo yet this month, so I will take it. Look how cute it is. It looks like it's in a bathtub, but I think it's a basket. Linux China Kitten Cat Compote Bowl Butterfly Meadow Basket by Louis Lee Lair. And I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but that's what it looks like. I picked up this antique pickle caster at an online auction. What is a pickle caster? I just thought it looked interesting. I was all in at 18. I didn't look up comps till I got home. Comps showed 120 to 160. I listed on eBay for 135 and it sold within 10 minutes. I did have a store coupon for 10% off. They paid 150 plus shipping. So I, if I look at comps and I see 120 to 160, I'm like, 
pricing it at 180 <laughs> if there's no others listed or higher. I'm doing that auction. I'm feeling out the market for sure on these rare and hard to find items. Antique Victorian pickle caster with etched glass and tongs. I found a collection of old unopened bars of soap at an estate sale. Stood there for what felt like forever, checking the comps of each bar. Walked out with two of the same Vinolia, Vinolia for a dollar each. The first one just sold, listed June 10th, sold July 7th for $49.99, and the buyer paid shipping. And this is what it looks like. Yes, vintage soap can definitely be a bolo. So keep that in mind. Stay tuned. Check out my YouTube channel. I have uh, bolo category videos where I teach about specific categories, and basically I pick a category and I search it up. And then I bring you guys all the big money bolos in that category. I have a whole playlist of those. So check that out. Also down in the description are things that I use for my business. Like list perfectly. I cross post with it. It is awesome. There's a video link down below. It's a demo. It's a tutorial. It shows you how to use it. So if you're curious about getting your items on other platforms, definitely check that out. I start on eBay and cross post to Mercari and Poshmark but there are like 12 different platforms that you can cross post to and more platforms, more eyes on your items. Some items sell better on other platforms. You hear me talk about plush all the time. I'm like, get your plush on Mercari. So if you want to try list perfectly, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies. That's all one word and that will get you 30% off your first month. Uh, there's also a link down below for Poshmark and Mercari. If you join with those links, you're going to get credits to shop. Poshmark is $10. Mercari is $10 when you join to shop and then another uh, $20 when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So $30 total on Mercari. And if you sell plush and toys, Mercari is fantastic. Everybody says Mercari is a garage sale app. I don't believe that. I've sold a lot of big money items on Mercari. So check it out. Mercari is also a great place to source. So is Poshmark. A lot of times uh, the people that sell on those platforms are just people that are trying to get rid of things from their home and they may not be doing their research and looking things up and you may be able to snag a good deal or they just don't care. They just want to get rid of the stuff. So check out those platforms as a buyer as well as a seller. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Which bolo surprised you the most? And check out my other bolo category videos. Check out my other, uh, this is July, other July videos. They'll be coming soon. I've got a whole bunch. This is a share post again in the Facebook group. So if you're not over there in the Facebook group, go join, share a bolo, and I'll feature it in a video like this. Thanks for watching. Oh, and be sure to subscribe.